after the setup has been done, the next thing to do is to perform the configuration, configuration of the device. And how do you perform this? The configuration of the B660 or 683 3G router will be performed through the management page. And how do you launch the management page? You can launch the management page using any of your any of your browser. It can be your Internet Explorer, it can be your Mozilla Firefox, it can be your Google Chrome. Any of the browser can be used to launch the management page of the 3G router. And uh, for example, I, I want to make use of the Internet Explorer browser to launch my management page. And to, from there, that's where I can perform what the configuration of the device. Trying to open the management page is open now. The browser is open now where I can launch the management page. And before you can go into the management page, where you can go into the management page, you have to you must ensure that your proxy, if it's available, must be disabled. An example of that is and how do you how do you disable your proxy? Click your tools, options. Connections, plan settings. Let's assume the proxy is enabled like this. It's like this. But this is a proxy of a company. So invariably, this is a static IP. So invariably, if this is not removed, there's no way you can you can launch it to the management page of the router. So this has to be disabled. And this is how you disable it. Then you click your OK icon. Click your OK icon, and with this, you'll be able, will be able to disable the proxy, which was initially enabled. So now, the next point is for us to use the default gateway to launch into the management page of the router. The default gateway IP address is 192.168.1.1. Press your enter key after that, it takes you to the management page of the device, which is trying to open. And this is the management page of the device. And in the management page of the device, there are so many icons you see. This icon is for is for you to send SMS. This is to show that your the quality of your signal strength. This is to show that your SIM card is valid. And this is to launch directly your internet page. This is for the one which also can also be used to launch your internet page where this is for your wireless LAN if it's on, if it's enabled or disabled at this point, by default, it's enabled so the password key the password is the, is the, the password key is the pass that enables you to go into the device and the password is admin the password is case sensitive so admin should be written in lowercase A D M I N, then you press your enter key. As soon as you press your enter key, it takes you down to this page. And this page is where you perform the, the configuration of the device. You click your next icon. It takes you to your profile name. Your profile name is Airtel. A I R T E L. That's Airtel. Then the dialog number is star nine nine hash. The username should be left blank. Password should be left blank. The APN should be changed from static, from dynamic to static, and that will enable you to type the APN. The APN is for Airtel is internet dot ng dot Airtel dot com is the APN and the authentication type is chap connection mode. We have three forms of connection mode. One is the manual connection mode, the other one is the auto, and the right the third one is on demand. The, the 
on demand auto mode is, is almost the same as the auto auto mode. But for the manual auto mode, each time if, you, if the configuration is set on manual, that means each time you want to launch into the internet page, the first thing you need to do is to go into the management page of the of the 3G router and click connect and connect it from there before you can be able to launch into the uh, internet page. Before you can open any of the internet page like your Google or your Yahoo Mail. But from this point, look. Okay, let's use the first. Let's do the first manual setup. Then after that, you click the next icon. Then it takes you down to what is called the name SSID. This is basically for the Wi-Fi uh, view. If you are using the device from the Wi-Fi point, if I log into the device using your wireless or your Wi-Fi enabled devices. So this can be changed. This can be changed to your name. Just for the sake of um, our configuration, this can be changed to your name. So let's assume you are, you are your name is Anthony. A N T H O N Y. Anthony is typed there. And this SSID broadcast must be enabled. If it's not enabled, that means this device cannot be viewed from the wireless part. From the wireless part, it should be enabled at all time. The next point is you click your next icon and this is your this is your Wi-Fi pass. It's called the WPA pre-shared key. This key is usually written behind the B660 or the B680. But it can also be changed. You can also change it to to your to any of the keys, any of the key which you want to use it, which you want to use. You can also change it. But the default key is written behind the router. The next point is you click your next icon and from there you can proofread every configuration that you've done just to check if your configuration is correct or not. Then after that you click your finish icon. As soon as you click your finish icon, you wait for 3 seconds, the continued icon is highlighted, then you click continue. After this, the configuration is perfect. So now, because our, man, our connection mode is set on manual, we still have to go to the management page, which we are in, and you click your connection icon to click the connect before you can be connected. And that will aid you in browsing or surfing the internet. Now, if you look at this, the connection status is showing disconnected, but set on manual. So that means, and you see the connect icon, you have to click your connect and wait for it to connect after some after like 5 to 10 seconds it's connected then after that you can now launch into the internet like you see it's now connected so that means our configuration is perfect and it's complete okay the next thing is you want to launch your internet page let's assume you want to open google okay it's trying to it's showing website found from this point website found and the google page is opened as you can see you can open any 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 information you want to get from the google page let's assume nigerian newspaper That takes you to the page so invariably the configuration is complete okay then the second point is if you want to do uh, perform the setting want to set it on auto what do you do you go back to that same management page go back to the same management page then you click your disconnect you disconnect now it's trying to disconnect Okay, it's been disconnected. Then you you click um, you click your settings. Okay, click the next icon. Then the connection mode that was set on manual before change to auto. Change to auto mode. Then you click your next icon. Click your next icon. Next. Finish, finish icon. That's just to check connection mode is on auto now. 
and wait for like three seconds click your continue icon so automatically the device will be connected you don't need to go into the management page subsequently when you want to use the device to click the connect before you can use the device so as soon as when, as soon as you are done with the usage of your device part time it, as, when when you want to use it if you if it's powered on wait for like five to ten seconds it will be connected automatically then you can stop your internet you can browse like from this point here looking at it now you will see the connection icon anymore if you look at it it's not it's no longer here because the connection mode is auto it's auto it auto connect itself without you clicking any form of the connection icon that was initially showing at this point when the connection mode was set on manual mode so from this point you can look okay, at it's connected now and you can launch any of any internet page you want to launch any page you want to launch to you want any page you want to solve let's assume okay, this is also google you want to click go.com for the football lovers let's assume okay okay and this is it this is it checking us to the page so that means that our configuration is now set on auto and it's perfect okay there are also two modes which this device can be used the first mode like I, uh, the first mode is the LAN mode by use by the usage of the LAN cable which I'm using now then the second mode is using the Wi-Fi that is the any, connected any wireless enabled device like your laptop to the router that will be shown across to us okay so this is it this is the page so how do we connect to the Wi-Fi how do we connect to the device using the Wi-Fi so that's what that, that's the next thing we want to we want to look into now let me close this page okay the page is closed now now we want to connect not to the device using the Wi-Fi look at it now it's been disabled but the LAN cable has been removed. I want to connect to the device to the B60 or B683 3G router using the Wi Fi channel. The first thing I need to do is for me to put on my LAN, my LAN switch of my laptop or the any Wi Fi enabled device that has been powered on now. And the next point is. I need to search for the device okay refresh my network list to show me the current Wi-Fi that's available within my location okay I can look at it you can see that we have Anthony here we have Anthony showing here okay because this Anthony was the name that, that was changed initially the Wi-Fi name that was that would have renamed it the Wi-Fi device as Anthony. So double click it. Okay. And the network key, like I said, is written behind the device unless it's been changed by the user. Okay, the Wi-Fi key of this device is 68 6 G 7 3 5d please mind you it's case sensitive so you have to put on your cap lock let me type it again 686d 735b to confirm the network key 68 6 Seven three five B. 
Then the next point is you click your connect icon. It's trying to connect. They're trying to connect and it's connected. It's connected. So let's see if we're actually connected. We're actually connected. Let's see if we can browse. Okay, using my Ethernet Explorer again, we launch it. Okay, you can see I can solve the internet. Nigerian news. That is it. This is how you can configure this device, launch it to the device using your LAN cable, and also launch it to the device using your Wi Fi cable. That is, that is dependent on the user. If you want to use your LAN or if you want to use your Wi Fi. Okay? Thank you very much.